So nice to meet you all today. My name is John Meyer. I'm from Atlassian. And today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to integrate New Relic, Ops Genie, and Atlassian's new product, Jira Ops. Um, so today I'll just giving you, be giving you a brief walkthrough of Ops Genie. And then I'll be giving you a product demo of all three uh, products. So in, uh, in a typical IT environment, we have your IT and your dev stack and your operations team that handles alerts. Um, within that dev stack, you have monitoring tools that produce those alerts um, that are sent to that operations team. Um, the issue with many of these, um, these stacks and monitoring tools is they spit out so many alerts and a lot of them aren't actionable. They're just getting emails, they're being sent to operations teams and um, some of them are being missed and um, they're just getting uh, alert fatigue from all these alerts being sent out from these tools. Um, so again, important notifications are often missed, um, which can lead to uh, thousands of dollars uh, of lost business. Um, ops team members, they're receiving non-relevant alerts um, that aren't targeted for them specifically. Um, communication is one directional, so they get an email. Uh, they often can't take action on that and respond to it or, um, again, take action on that alert. And then alert fatigue uh, reduces the team's effectiveness. So um, if you're getting way too many alerts, when you get that alert in your email inbox, you're less likely to take action on that because you know it may just be a non-important alert. So in uh, a typical environment today, uh, when you have an alert management stack, we have an IT dev stack with a monitoring tool uh, such as New Relic that sends those alerts to Ops Genie. Ops Genie can then figure out uh, what to do with that alert. If they should maybe suppress the notifications, if they should um, alert a team right away, if they should wait 10 minutes, Ops Genie is that, that uh, central pane of glass for all of those alerts that are routed to uh, those operations teams. And then after the fact, after the alerts are created, Ops Genie can report on that data um, and we can provide documentation on how to better uh, resolve those incidents and alerts uh, moving forward. So again, the benefit, one of the benefits of Ops Genie is it reduces that alert noise. We're able to, to fine tune your alerts coming from different systems. And so when you receive that notification on your phone, on the web app or your email, you know that this alert was meant for you and that you need to take action on that. Um, it also allows for events to be consolidated. We, you can set certain rules and identifiers in Ops Genie that reduce um, tons of alert noise into a single alert or incident. And then, we, again, you also know that when you receive that alert from Ops Genie, the right people are being notified because you've set this up beforehand and you've set predefined rules for what teams should be notified at what times. And then everything is recorded in Ops Genie, whether you're just logging into the system, whether you're closing an alert, every action is, is taken, um, that is taken is being logged and audited. So you have a full incident uh, report life cycle. You can see when the alert was created, who took action on that, et cetera. So that helps you um, become more effective in the future. Um, and here is just a, a display of a modern IT, environment, modern IT environment today where you have New Relic doing the application monitoring, sending that, those notifications to Ops Genie. Ops Genie does some correlation to figure out um, if all these alerts coming in are related to one incident. And then from there, Ops Genie notifies the correct on-call users. And then um, we can also use a tool like Slack to notify the on-call individuals, as well as um, Atlassian's new, tool, new uh, product by the name of Jira Ops. Jira Ops is an incident management platform that allows you to send out notifications, um, link to Slack war rooms, and handle those incidents on the fly. And after the, uh, the incident is over, uh, Jira Ops offers a post-mortem report um, where you can go back, see the details of the incident, um, and then learn from the incident and improve from there. So from there, I'm going to give a quick demonstration of all three of these tools in sync. All right, so within Ops Genie, I'm going to show you first how to set up the new Relic in integration. So we're going to go to the integrations page here. And we're just going to add a new, new integration, and we're going to type in new Relic. And then from here, um, the, here are the instructions for setting up uh, the new Relic integration. It's pretty straightforward if you just want to get your alerts flowing into Ops Genie. We do have an advanced mode, with, which offers um, a bit more functionality. Um, you, can all, you can filter on alerts and route alerts to specific teams. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to show um, how to set up a single channel in New Relic and route those alerts to Ops Genie. So I'm just going to call this my New Relic demo integration. And then I'm going to route these alerts to my DGC team. And then I'm going to copy and paste this API key here. 
And then now I'm going to go back to New Relic. And within New Relic, we're going to go to the notification channels section. And from here, all we're going to do is set up a new notification channel. We're going to call this, um, we're going to select the channel type, and we're going to send these to Ops Genie. And then here, we'll just call this DGC Incident Demo. And we're going to paste in that API key from the Ops Genie integration. Um, here, you can pass in teams, if you'd like to, from New Relic and have Ops Genie ingest those. Or you can just have those set um, at the Ops Genie level um, when you're setting up the integration. So here, we're assigning these to the DGC team. Here, we're going to just add a tag. Uh, we'll just call this DGC Incident. And tags are just ways of categorizing alerts and filtering them after the fact. So here, um, we're going to go ahead and create this channel. And back in Ops Genie, I'm going to go ahead and save this integration. And really, that's all that's re really needed to get integrated with New Relic right off the bat. Um, as you send these the, the alerts in New Relic to that specific, specific channel, they're going to be routed to uh, this integration here and routed to this DGC team. I mentioned we do have an advanced mode here. That uh, allows you to create different types of alerts in Ops Genie. So here, by default, we're, we're creating an alert in Ops Genie if the New Relic state equals open or the state equals test. Um, so if it matches that criteria, it will create an alert in Ops Genie. From there, if you want to add additional criteria, you can filter on um, any of the uh, data here that we're getting from New Relic. So if we want to, if we want to uh, route based on the severity of the New Relic uh, alert, we can do that. And then we can also set the option priority based on that severity, route to a specific team. Um, so we have tons of options on how we can customize that alert uh, in Opsgeny based on the data that we're given from New Relic. So here, I'm just going to go back to this New Relic channel here that we created. And I'm going to send a test notification. So as we can see here, it was sent to Opsgeny. I'm going to go back to Ops Genie and take a look at the incident that was created. Actually, I believe we may have this one was deduplicated. So this is a, a good example. We actually have deduplication in, in place in Ops Genie. We had that test already set in place before, so it deduplicated that, that event because that alert was still open. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just close this here and go back here and send another test. Not sure if the if the thing was sent. There we go. All right, so the, the test was sent to Ops Genie, and as we can see here, we're going to go to the Incidents tab, and we have this brand new incident that was created from the New Relic alert. So a, an incident in Ops Genie can be one or more alerts um, that are ro rolled up into a single event, um, and from here, uh, within Ops Genie, we have rules set in place to create incidents within Jira Ops. So I'm going to pull up the Jira Ops integration here. So just DGC. And within the Jira Ops integration, you can map certain actions between the Ops Genie Alert and the Jira Ops in, uh, incident. So here we're saying um, only create an incident if it has the tag DGC incident and the priority is P1 uh, critical. And then we have Opsgeny actions mapped here to the corresponding actions in Jira Ops. So you can say if the Opsgeny incident is closed, then go ahead and resolve that incident within Jira Ops. So now I'm going to go over to Jira Ops, and I'm going to take a look at all of the open issues here. And then we can drill, drill down here and see this particular incident. All right. Let's just pull this up here. Actually, let's just double check this incident here. And let's just pull this up here. So as we can see, we have the incident within um, Jira Ops. And within Jira Ops, you have a full timeline of everything that happened with that particular incident. So for example, here we have the status, which is new. Um, we have the severity that you can set. We have it set to, to three minor. 
Uh, we have the assigning, which is currently unassigned. Um, we have the reporter, which is the option integration who created this particular incident. Uh, we can also create a Slack channel for this particular um, incident. So if you want to create a Slack war room for this, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, we can also send out status page communications for this. So if you want to create a status page incident and notify your, your status page stakeholders, you can do that directly from Jira Ops. And you can also click here to see the details of that particular Ops Genie alert uh, that triggered this. So here what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go back here to the um, Slack integration. And here we're going to create an, uh, a brand new war room for this particular incident. And I'm going to invite myself to that war room. So uh, Jira Ops is linked to your Slack account. So you can add all of your Slack members um, to this particular channel. So I went ahead and added that here. And I'm going to go back to my Slack integration. And as you can see, we have a brand new um, war room for this particular incident. And so you can chat in here. To, any guys looking into this? And then from there, um, if there's any breakthroughs we can sit and, you, and you want to share that information back to the Jira Ops incident, you can send that data back to the incident timeline. So we, we have found the fix. So if you right click here, you have the option to add that to the Jira Ops timeline. So now if we go back here to this particular one, we can see that the, the message that I added from Slack is added here uh, with, the, with the text. So anything that happens here um, is propagated back to Ops Genie and back to Jira Ops. So now if I, if I wanted to resolve this particular incident, so we're first going to change the, the status to fixing. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and resolve this particular incident. And then from there, again, everything is added back to the Slack war room. So you have a full timeline of, of what happened with that particular uh, incident, um, who closed it, who, who assigned it, et cetera. So all of this data is, is logged in Slack as well as Jira Ops. Um, and moving forward, we're going to be rolling out new integrations um, for, um, for Jira Ops. But this is just what we have at the moment with you know, status page Slack and Ops Genie. But uh, moving forward, Jira Ops is going to be your one-stop shop for all of your incident management. Um, the goal is to get all of your, your responders within the, within the war room collaborating on the issue and then use status page to, not to notify those stakeholders of those particular incidents. Um, if you want to learn more about uh, Jira Ops or Ops Genie, we, Ops Genie is over at booth 716 and Atlassian is at booth 429. Um, if you want to try out Jira Ops, um, it's currently in early access, so it's free to try out. You can integrate it with uh, with your with your Slack integration with with Ops Genie status page, and you can uh, start testing those incidents and see how you can resolve those incidents a bit faster. And that's all for today.